Welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson, and this is my co-host, my Stevenson. Hi, guys. So tonight we are going to review um, a movie based off a, um, a cult classic, but a little bit more better and a little bit more of a better story because and a better twist ending, obviously, called Piranha that was released in two th- called 3D, obviously. And Piranha re- 3D. Yes, and it was released in 2010. Now, before we go any further... Right. There are lots of Piranha movies out there. Too many. There's Piranha. There's Piranhas. There's Mega Piranha. And I think Mega Piranha was actually made the same year. So, <laughs> later on, I'll reinforce it. Make sure, if you want to buy it, or rent it, or whatever, you get the right product, okay? Yes. Remember, Piranha 3D. Yes, 3D, but, and the year, but still, again, I think Mega Piranha was done the same year. True. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the interesting, like, yeah, 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 another thing, guys, the poster in this movie reminds me a little bit of Jaws. Yes, it does. A little bit. Lady floating on top of the water, and Jaws was under it. Well, this has got, this has got Piranha under it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks a bit more better. The like, <laughs> one they did ha- years ago, back in the olden days it came out just after Jaws came out so um, I guess they were trying to outbeat or the um, re- the Jaws movie but uh, unfortunately it had suspense it had bloody bits but it, I don't think it had enough impact because th- you don't see the piranhas you just see people getting pulled under you don't see a, you do see a few jumping out of the water but not as scary or, or as creepy as the ones we will see in this movie yeah, there's a bit of blood. Yeah, and the story... A bit of bare body parts floating around in the water. And, and the story is quite <laughs> different from the old one. It, they, it came from a, a militarised back, you know, um, bunker or, you know, militarised swimming pool. Yeah. And they, the pool was drained because some missing people went missing. And um, they were kind of emptied into the into the lake. Oops. Yes, oops. Bad move. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Anyway, so in this one, it's it sort of takes leaf out of a prehistoric type thing, sort of thing. Well, you get off to you. Where they make out these <laughs> do, piranhas are from prehistoric times. Well, the, yeah, the, 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 the bottom line is they're supposed to have underneath this lake where people go just a holiday sort of thing, uh, there's a subterranean lake which <laughs> was... Sort of not connected, but sort of connected, probably. Uh, but the problem is there's an earthquake, and it makes this fissure in it. Uh, so these little fishies can go from the subterranean lake up to the no, lake. lake up the top. And yeah. that's where the fun begins. Folks. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, Mike, why don't you tell us who the producers, directors, and writers and stuff, and stuff are? Stuff. I like stuff. Okay, produced by... Um, Alexander Aja, A-J-A, Mark Canton, Mark Tuberoff, Gregory Leveser. Yeah, L-E-V-A-S-S-E-U-R. Now, uh, directed by Alexander Aja, uh, written by Pete Goldfinger. No, I wonder if that was a nickname. No, 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 it was probably Pete a nickname. Goldfinger. Uh, Josh... Uh, Stolberg, uh, two people wrote it based on Piranha, well, obviously the original movie they ripped off. I mean, borrowed the borrowed, theme ripped from off, whatever. Uh, by John Sayles. Now, okay. Cool. Now, the players. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good, guys. There's lots of people in here. There Including a few in... famous people. No, I'm going to say that. Okay, Elizabeth Shue plays Julie Forrester. Stephen. Um, McQueen plays Jake Forrester. Mm. Adam Scott plays Novak. Jerry O'Connell plays Derek Jones. I'm getting down to one, some, a well-known name in a minute. Uh, okay. Jessica Shaw Zor as Kelly. Kelly Brook as Danny. Almost there. Riley Steele as Crystal. And drum roll, please. Ving Rames as 
Deputy Felon. Yeah, I like me. Oh, my, oh, Christopher Lloyd does actually play a part in here. Cameo. As a mad size. It's not a cameo. It's a bit of a role, but uh, yeah, I suppose it's a cameo. It wasn't a very long bit, but he's, he plays a mad scientist type guy. Yeah, he's a scientist who's a well-known yeah. piranha expert. Yeah. Or fish expert. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, but piranhas come into it, yeah. Or, he knows all or, or just marina expert. I don't know. No, no, that's what he is. He's a, he's a whatever he is. Hmm. Yeah, so anyway, um, this one has a little bit of nudity and a bit of bum or and boob cam in this one. Yeah. Suitable for um, the male stri- male variety, if you will. So, yeah. Although there's some really interesting bits for um, the, the other white meat, meat here and there, yeah, which is not too bad. So I did watch this with, with Mike here a while ago, I mean, you know, last week, and we thought we might review it for you guys because I thought it would be a good change to up our game by watching something a little bit more that came out not too long ago, obviously. Well, not really not too long ago. It's um, going to 2023, so by now this movie would go on to become another member of the cult community. <laughs> so, Somewhere. Or something like that. Anyway, um, so... Um, what, uh, else? Mm. Well, what about box office? I'm curious about yeah, that. Yeah, let's go back to like, that, yeah. I don't like, think we discussed yeah, I'm that bit, I'm a bit befold today. I'm a bit tired. I've, I've been the physio today, and gee... Yeah, talk mm. talk about the, the marquee, the sad. Jeez, I'm in a bit of pain at the moment. Okay, budget at 24 million, box office about 83 million. So, I'm sure the uh, production company uh, was actually distributed by the Weinstein Weinstein, Weinstein Company. Um, so yeah, so they were happy with that. And obviously, production companies were Dimension Films, Atmosphere Entertainment. Check out film co intellectual properties worldwide. So yeah, okay. they all got their, their uh, couple of cents in the dollar. Yeah, yeah, a few cents in the dollar. Anyway, uh, I can't think of anything else to talk about. Do you okay. want to do your bit? So the story mm. begins where we see a, a man fishing on top of the lake or whatever, and we hear a rumble, 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 rumble noise down. Rumble, 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 rumble. and it's an earthquake, a small mm. one. one, and we see that the um, some uh, rocks. In the water are cracking slightly. Yeah, the bottom of the lake's cracking. Over. And somehow it causes a whirlpool, causing the man's boat to whiz around, whiz around, whiz around. Whiz around, whiz around. Yeah. And as it's whizzing, he nets, ne- nearly gets knocked out of the boat. And we see these prizes swimming out in the whirlpool thingy wing, and he starts devouring him. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. <laughs> then we cross over to the small town, which is like spring break. I think it takes place at spring break, where it's like a party for um, 24-7 over there. Yeah. Anyway, so we meet um, that Julie, who is a sheriff, and she is um, telling her son, I think his name is Jake, yeah, Jake, to watch out for his little sister and his younger brother and all that stuff, and not of her partying and stuff like mm. that because he has responsibilities and he's supposed to be the older brother in this sort of thing. But he gets called by this other, this guy, um, what's his name? Ooh, uh, this Derek guy who's a bit of a porn filmmaker. Yeah, he's one of those bags who's up himself and thinks he's got yeah. gift women. You know, yeah. You know the time yeah, is. he's, um, wants, um, Jake to help him find locations, locations yeah, to yeah. film his new porno video. Yeah, because he was, he, he knew the lake area, lake area and thought, oh, well, that's a good area for mm. a nice backdrop and, yeah, and the way from everybody and stuff. And, yeah. yeah. That's all, you know, the stuff. So yeah. he makes a point of going there. Of course, um, his love interest, what's her name? Um, I think her name is Kelly. Uh, she, yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. She won't, or, what, what's the other name? Um, never mind, it's what's Kelly. That? It's probably Kelly, obviously. It's Kelly. And she wants, she hears about um, Derek's project and thinks, okay, I'll go along with it. But I think J- Jake has doesn't really like this idea because he doesn't want his love interest, you know, get involved in a porno video could, which could rep- ruin her reputation. Yeah. This sort of thing could um, taint your bit, taint your yourself and your life, all your it, life. It could taint your wagon. 
Uh-huh. And don't paint your wet paint your wagon. No, no. Oh, I thought it was funny. Gee. Anyway, um, <laughs> so he tells his younger siblings to stay at home, and he'll pay them. Um, he paid them some money yeah, to stay tw- at 20 home. Twenty dollars each, was it? Forty yeah. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And stay home and be good little kiddies while he's out doing whatever. He, he's sort of babysitting. He put them. The television can do the babysitting for him. Yeah. Uh, he, no, unfortunately, the youngest uh, sibling, I think his name was what's his name? Rastus. Zane. I mean, yeah, Zane yeah. wants to go fishing on another part of the lake. Yeah, there's a bit of a sandbar at the middle of the lake somewhere. Mm. Yeah. You can actually feel that the the fish are nearby. You, you know, the um, piranhas. They have started pl- pr- pr- prowling around. Obviously. Prowl, prowl, prowl. Mm. Anyway, yeah. So they actually um, yeah, um, they do discover the dead body of the um, of where of the um, where the fisherman died, and they decide to send in their you know p- some scuba divers to find out what's going on down beneath the surface there. So they arrange just, um, some scuba divers and everything, and head off down there while the party. It, the spring break party continues, obviously, not aware that the danger they're all in, obviously. So they head down there, and as they're swimming along, the two scuba divers head into that particular train area, obviously. Yeah, they're cracking on the bottom of the, the yeah. lake, yeah, yeah. And, and they notice some interesting eggs growing on bits of the coral, I think it would have been. Well, on the rocks. Rocks, yeah, yeah, yeah. coral, I'm oh, not it sure. Be, wouldn't be coral, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, they you could see that they're little baby um, piranhas, you know, ready yeah, to hatch. Little clear, you know how frog eggs are clear and stuff? Well, it's a bit like that, yeah. You can actually see through them, the little yeah. embryo fishies getting ready to hatch. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, um, our two scuba divers get killed. And, of course, the last one was able to get pulled up. But, unfortunately, she dies. But they do find um, one of the fish that they found and brought it to an expert that's where um christopher lloyd comes into yeah, it yeah christopher lloyd comes into it and he sees that it, this is um a pre um a sort of prehistoric type you know piranha that goes back many years meaning these piranha have been eating eating them eat each other to survive because all the time they've been under there, they've been eating each other and not and sustaining that way, obviously. So yeah. they practically it's kill or be killed in their world. And now they're released. This is they'll be on the loose for eating other meat, not just each other this time around. Well, yeah, well you, can't, you get bored of eating the same stuff. I mean, you eat seafood every day, you know. Yeah, ah, we yeah. get a few. Yeah. Um, um, what's the jump scares in yeah. some scenes? Like with um, Jake and his um, his um, girlfriend and his and the and Derek doing the porn video. We get a, a situation where we think that that's gonna the prana will be coming down that way, but no, we don't see any. But if we do get a jump scare or two, then the um, sheriff realizes the danger and she heads back to the party where it is taking place and she tries to warn all the party goers but they ignore her warnings and no, stuff they think you yeah, yeah they're, they're the fun police yeah leave yeah. us alone you're, you're yeah. not fun police yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the people who just tell you yeah, fun's you over point, go yeah, home yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah or at least yeah, stay yeah. on land It'll be less dangerous that oh, way. Yeah, then we get a hot day. They want to get wet, you know. Unfortunately, they do get wet, and then the wild sets in, obviously, and it's st- the piranhas start attacking them on full force. And soon mm. enough, we enter a sort of Titanic situation with piranha as the main, um, you know, danger in this yeah. movie, where everyone tries to climb and then they on. Realize, the- oh, maybe the sheriff was telling the truth. Oh, they quickly pretty. try to climb onto a barge where a DJ was playing music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and guess they- what? It flipped over because there's too much weight on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And other people try to climb onto other boats, and the sheriff tries to help as much as he can by pulling the other people onto the boat. Obviously. Meanwhile, while this is happening, Jake gets informed by his. Um, he sees his siblings on an island, and he it's a just, sandbar. S- what? It's a sandbar. Yeah. Well, on an island anyway. Sandbar. Sandbar. Whatever. In the middle of the lake. Yeah. And he he then he has to quickly go over there to, and convinces the guy in charge to go over there and just help them. He's really the guy in this movie is very stubborn. This is cost you money. Yeah. It's a film shoot. 
You know about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, so they pick them up, obviously, and get on board, obviously. And But then... But then the real danger starts setting in. Like fishies. The fishies start, uh, you know... Oh, before we get to that, they tried... They got their um, propeller caught in a... Uh, uh, some, some, some sort of reeds or... Some uh, sort of reeds. I was going to say seaweed, but it's not sea. So it's some sort of underwater growth. You know, that. Yeah. And there's also some rocks in front of it too, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, whoever was driving the boat up towards the yeah. uh, sandbar didn't park it very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, soon enough, the, eventually we soon know that the, the, surpri- um, the kids notice some big, um, big groups of fish, you know, in a sort of a sky, not a skylight, but um, what do you call it? Um, uh, one of those boats with a special um, wind. A glass bottom boat. Glass bottom to the. Um, yeah, it's a viewing thing, yeah, yeah. what they call it. And, yeah. yeah, and they see the um, scatters of fish heading towards the um, the the spring break um, party goers, obviously. I know that's this, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I should have mentioned it early, you know, sooner. Anyway, soon enough. Um, the boats, you know, in a dangerous situation, they they try pulling as much as they could, and eventually, they do get across. But suddenly, a new danger set in. Obviously, yeah, because they, they smash the viewing thing uh, on a rock, a yes. submerged rock, and it starts taking on water, yeah. and they're still stuck there in the rocks now, and they can't get out of the area. Yeah. So I think the motor stalled. Did the motor stall or something? As yeah, well? quite. And they're taking water, motor stalled. Everything that could go wrong was going wrong, you know. Yeah. Damn. You know? Yeah, damn is right. <laughs> anyway, the party goers continue trying to get to safety, and of course, some of them get killed as they go along. And even one guy gets into a speedboat and tries to run over a couple of people trying to get to safety, only to get killed in the end, obviously, too. <laughs> Serves yeah. him right. Anyway, soon enough, um, Julie. F- Finds out from her son, who on who's still on the boat, and tells him that they're not at home, that they're on a separate boat, and they're out in the middle of, of dangerous area, and they could get killed any time by some of those other piranha fish. Meanwhile, while this is happening, the one of the guys, I think it's a deputy of sorts, I'm not sure, who actually uses a propeller blade to kill some of the piranha, you know, and but he gets his legs chewed on. While this all happens, obviously, and he ends oh, up. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know those uh, little motorboat motors. You're, you're on the back of a little boat. You to, he picked it up and started that news that like um, a food processor. Pro- yeah. yeah, yeah, food processor. That's yeah. pretty close. Mm. Yeah, sliced and diced the fishies. Plenty of sushi for everybody. Oh yes, quite. <laughs> anyway, soon she heads that way, and she comes up with a plan of you know roping the boat and trying to get get people to climb climb the rope across obviously and of course um jake wants to help his girlfriend who's down in the bottom part of the boat and and the problem is the hatch has bars on it so you can't go out through the hatch at the top that's ridiculous What's that with someone doesn't break into it? You just can't trust anybody nowadays, can you? Yeah, no. well, anyway, you can't help it. Anyway, the um guy in charge, he gets... Uh, I think he get he and another um uh, model get killed, obviously, and he gets pulled on board, but he ble- slowly bleeds to death, obviously. Anyway, the so Jake gets was able to get his siblings across, and now he um quick he wants to save his girlfriend, so he uses his ex boss's dead body and throws it overboard. While well, he's he, bleeding, so that yeah, the the blood coming out of his body would attract the piranhas, and seeing mm-hmm. this young fellow uh, isn't bleeding, the fish are going to leave him alone until he gets hungry. Yeah, he quickly um, gets to her eventually, and using um, some of the gas, um, not the gas. I mean the. What he turned call? on the gas cylinders. He turns on the gas cylinders and he takes a flare and he makes it into a sort of he sort the flare of a bomb. Off. No, he sort sets of the flare off. So when the the gas got to a certain uh, density inside the boat, it would go boom. And the yeah. idea was to kill some of the piranhas. Yeah, he gets. Um, yeah, so he gives him a really bad headache too. Yeah, he yeah. times it with the guy up above to to t- tow them out. I mean, get them out by by taking the rope and you know. 
pulling them along quickly. Of course, at first the engine doesn't run quickly enough, but soon enough it gets started and was able to tow them out of there before the fish get to them. And soon enough, the place booms. And then we cut away for a minute where Julie gets a message from the the scientist guy, who the scientist explains that this piranha they caught that these that's in his office is has Babies. no um no pregnancy s- bits in it uh, yet. The, yeah, anyway, so they, there were no reproductive organs, uh, and the, the specimens they had been dealing with were not mature. Meaning, with them a trainer, so they were only. Uh, merely juvenile fishies. Yeah, and one of the guys asks, okay, where are the parents? And we see this fish that's the size of a, a no, dolphin no. Oh, or, yeah. a white, or a shark. Small car. And, and <laughs> kind of swallows him whole. No, no, no. It, it, it jumps out of the water. It doesn't take his head off or something? No, it, it practically carters the whole casket away. I mean, his, his whole body away. Yeah, 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 that's right. He took the whole body. So, yeah, big fish. Hey, that... that that would go down well, wouldn't it? Lots of sushi there. Mm, anyway, yeah. then we fade out. That was the movie. Fade to red. I mean black, sorry. Yeah, well, yeah. it is technically red, <laughs> considering the credits um, fade on a water yeah. and we see a lot of that's redness. Right. No, in the other movie, the, 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 the boy was standing there his head taken off, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got mixed up. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> this movie had a good twist in it. Yeah, it had, look, it had a nice twist. And it was, it's, a, look, it's, a, it's a fun movie. Funny comedy no, horror. It's just, well, you know, it's, the original movie was a comedy. Now, this one was a tad more serious, but it was still a comedy. But, yeah, the first one was a bit... Well, the first no, one... No, the one back in 19... The one back in the yeah. 91 is more of a mystery horror more no, than a no, comedy. No, it was, I thought it was a comedy as well. No, it isn't. Oh, okay. Well, I think this one... Seen, yeah, this, seen, yeah. this one is more of the um, a comedy-type yeah. horror one. Yeah, anyway. I mean, I watched the uh, re- previously one, oh so guys, and compared the two, and that one was more of a mystery horror. Okay, one. my mistake. It wasn't the comedy, but yeah, this one, this is fun. You know, and a few dead bodies, a bit of sushi for everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, fun mm-hmm. in the sun. You know, Camp Crystal Lake, different dimension. You know, I wouldn't whatever, go you know. that far, Mike, with <laughs> the Crystal Lake stuff. Well, this is more. Um, a, well, I don't Jaws meets Crystal Lake. Jaws no. meets um, <laughs> meets Piranha, obviously. And I gotta admit, guys, that I do think it's interesting how in this one, just like in the Jaws movie, the people were warned not to go for a swim, and then when they do go for a swim, um, danger starts happening around them, obviously. Yeah. And it causes a little bit of upset with some people. Hmm. Anyway, I do think it's no okay, no some. A really good movie to watch. Um, a bit of uh, moving, taking out the um, the boobs and the butts stuff. The rest of it seems to be okay, an okay movie to watch when I think about it. Yeah. So I do think it's worth having a look. I may watch the other ones eventually. The ones that are, you know, the original one day, but maybe not too close to, to, to this one, obviously. But mm. I just wanted to compare the two. I might re- look at reviewing the sequel next time for you guys. So, anyway, let's discuss um, reception, obviously. Reception. Well. Let's see um, if it's if it measures up to... I think it was pretty good, actually, memory. Uh, where are you? Mm-hmm. A lot of notes here. You know, you're doing the right reception. Here we go. Okay. Right. right. Generally positive reviews. Um, Excellent. Uh, wow. Approval rating of seventy four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm, that's good to know. Uh, okay, yeah, da, 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 da. Who's Metacritic? Uh, yeah. uh, da, 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 da. That was uh, that's sort of an, more of an average um, review on that one. Tongue in cheek, uh, they said. Uh, scholarly review of a movie was written for yeah whatever blah blah blah. Look, most of them just say the same sort of thing. It was a good movie. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't think anyone's actually got anything really nasty to say, but but not saying hey, it's really really great, must see either. So yes, it's just like hey, it's in there and it's a good it's a good look. Hmm. How's that? That's uh, pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I'm mean, here. Here's one. Empire gave the film three out of five stars, saying 
Remember the film you you hoped Snakes on a Plane would be? This is it. We did Snakes on a Plane, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Said, so, are you hoping Snakes on a Plane would be a good movie? Well, this is the one it should have been. Yeah. So he's, so he's saying Snakes on a Plane it wasn't as good as this, has it? Um, was, uh, by any sane cinematic uh, standards, but uh, uh, meretricious trash, whatever. But thrown at you with such good humoured uh, glee that it's hard to resist. There you go. So mm. yeah, they, they like it. It's. It, I won't say it's so bad. It's good. It's not bad, but it, yeah, it's 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 a tongue in cheek horror comedy thingy wingy. You know. How, you know how you know how they go. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, nothing more to say about it, really. Yeah. Um, blah, 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 blah. I think Richard Dreyfus was the, the guy on the boat at the beginning, too. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, Richard Dreyfus has been like, he was in um, American Graffiti and stuff, and yeah. Um, he's hmm. been around, <laughs> but I think he's the guy on the fishing boat. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your faith of man in the boat. Yeah, and Jerry O'Connell, he's been in the sliders. I think that was probably what made his career, but and lately he's, he's mostly going down to heel with yeah. his co-star roles, which is not as strong as they used to be when you think about it. Anyway, go on, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I, I think Richard Dreyfus actually got sucked in it because they're offering good money. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's all about uh, the money yeah, for I some think, people. I think he was going back. Mm-hmm. I, I just tried, and this is in it, and then he, uh, he, he was coerced into it. Uh, yeah, I think he was the guy on the boat at the beginning. Mm. I can't remember. Anyway. I did like it that Christopher, yeah. Christopher Lloyd, Lloyd reta- you know, did this movie. I thought he was really interesting as the crazed scientist. Look, I, I love him in... And like, I, I don't know if I've ever seen him in a serious role. Okay. I see him in Back to the Future. True. I see him as Uncle Fester. Mm-hmm. I see him in this. He always plays a weirdo. Mm-hmm. And I like it. He makes, yeah. a, he makes a good weirdo. There's this <laughs> talk about doing a, a Rick and Monty, um, I'm not sure, t- um, either a movie or TV series, I'm not sure. Is it? Which is like a, a setup or a spin off of. Uh, Back to the Future with a different with a different take on it, but I just don't know that will um, either get people you know looking forward to it or just thinking, oh no, not Which another Friday the Thirteenth. I mean, oh, not, yeah. not another Back to the Future re- uh-huh. related movie because it would just it would just seem like too similar, obviously at this point eh, when you whatever. think about it. Anyway, <clears throat> what was going to say, Mike? I was going to say I can't remember. Uh, mental block. Do, 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 do. No, I can't remember. That's right. That's the matter. Oh, boy. Uh, well? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it said the movie takes place during spring break, and of course the studio wanted uh, ready for the summer. But if you've got 1,000 people who need to get murdered in the water... You have to wait for the right temperature of the water. <laughs> um, <laughs> Otherwise, they won't go in the water. No. Yeah, well, I heard people complaining about people who, I mean, heard about people complaining yeah. about if this water is cold, like it's winter time, there's no chance I'm gonna, they're going to yeah. go into the water. Not unless there was warm yeah, water had, had in nearby. Bright sunny days, warm, no clouds, everything else. It like, looks like a nice hot summer's day, but it was probably yeah. wasn't as hot. Remember, was it? Was it? Tucker and Dale versus Eve wasn't that done. Yes. It, was, it wasn't quite winter time, but it was really, really cold. They had uh-huh. to get in the water uh-huh. and thinking of it. No, yeah. And they'll freeze their nuts mm. off. Yeah. <laughs> Just something I could say for um, when they did um, uh, tremors in when they're in the um, on the in the desert it, and the, and the girl in that one wore shorts during cold weather. That's obviously. right. It was cold. And yeah, while yeah. it's supposed to be summer or and warm, it. She was probably experiencing um, hypothermia what, in during those what scenes. What hypothermia? She was feeling the cold. Yeah, she was but, feeling the cold, yeah. but mm. she had to pretend it's uh, a hot summer yeah. day instead of um, so a cold when, winter. When she wasn't in French, probably had a blanket wrapped around her or something to keep her warm. You know. Yeah, it's oh. really funny. What you you, you think? Oh, it looks really nice there, but it's not. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was talking to Sarah or somebody. It could have been you. Um, there was an old TV program, Adventures in Paradise, sort of. Um, uh, I can't remember the actor's name at the moment, but it was based, supposedly based in, around Hawaii. It's actually done in some local area around uh, California or somewhere. And anyway, all, all the bush scenes were done with pot plants. They just didn't actually 
fill them down to the ground. Mm-hmm. So I had all these pop plants stuck there in a, on a set somewhere and I'd walk through like they're going through the jungle. It wasn't anywhere. They weren't even outside. Mm-hmm. Or if they were, it was in a car park or somewhere or other. Mm-hmm. It's quite funny. It is funny, isn't it? <laughs> so it's, yes. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, what you don't see doesn't hurt, you know, it's, it's yes. all fun. You know. So, guys, anyway, I, how, should we rate this movie now? Because I don't have anything else to say uh, about this No, one. I can't think of too much to say either. Um, I will say something for, for your, local, your local people. The shooting took place in May 2009 at Bridgewater Channel in Lake... Havasu, mm-hmm. uh, located in Lake Havasu City, mm-hmm. Arizona. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, how's that? Right. Uh, the water was dyed red for the shooting. Oh, duh. Uh, and 80,000 gallons of fake blood was used during the filming. No kidding. 80,000 gallons. That's a lot of... Yeah. And that usually includes guts and bits and no, pieces. No, that's just the blood. Yeah. There must have been a tanker there or something just pumping in there. I yeah. hope that it yeah. was not too damaging to the water itself. No, nah, it's fake blood. It would have been biodegradable stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a relief. It would, would have been good, yeah. Now, well, um, I, don't, I like to think about the poor fish and the um, animals that may drink the stuff and may get sick. Yeah. I don't want that happening. Nah. No, no real fish were hurt during the making of the film, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Uh, now, before we do anything, um, there is a sequel. Yep. It was made about two years later, 2012, mm. and it's called, G Piranha 3D. 3D. D. <laughs> so, Double D. D, that's really <laughs> stretching the imagination of names, isn't it, folks? Um, well, yeah. I think that was meant to be a, a private joke from um, yeah. from the people who like um, female in bikinis. Now, there is something here. Um, we may or may not review this one. Hey, I may. We may, but... Uh, it was a box office flop, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it, it did not go down very well. Yeah. But Sarah probably is going to want to do it because it reminds her of uh, that other thing, uh, Splash Water. Was, uh, um, Aqua Splash. A- Aqua Splash. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, I think it was an improvement yeah. on an that Aqua one because <laughs> instead of just be, uh, waiting around, uh, killing uh, the killing the fat with lame. Yeah. Bits of dialogue, lame scenes. Oh, this, we might that, as well do it because there's a couple of cameos in there. Yeah. Well, there's a cameo in there that we David Hasselhoff. Well, I won't mention it. Oh, don't mention it. All right, too late. <laughs> they, yeah, they, David Hasselhoff plays a bit role in it. A bit? <laughs> well, okay. An interesting <laughs> role. He's not a main, plus, main star, and he's, re, he's brought in there to be a guest at the uh, is it opening. Opening, opening yeah, I think. Or, or, or um, festival or something. Yeah. And he was supposed to be a guest lifeguard there and different things uh, when all the poo hits the fan. You know, yeah, man. when all when poo hits the fan, literally. Yeah. Um, everyone tried to run to him as a, ooh, save us, save us, save us. I'm not really a lifeguard, I'm an actor. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and then he, he saves somebody. You know? and, and he feels so damn good about himself. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> but he's still not the hero in this mo- in that movie. No, he's not. But it's a fun... I think he, t- he took it at, uh, for what it was. It was a fun, just a fun gig. Yeah. Now, I will rate it. Uh, yes. Horror comedy. Uh, it's, it's a funny genre. Uh, you it either like it or you don't it? like it. I like it. I can't think of anything they've actually done wrong in the film. No, neither um, can I. Especially it, do, this... it, it does stretch the credibility side yeah. just a little bit here and there. I thought the <laughs> twist endings were wonderful, guys. Yeah, that's good. Look, I'm, I'm going to give it a nine. Uh, only because, I mean, I can't think of anything negative about it. Me neither. I mean, I, and I'm usually, yeah. oh, well, not really. I mean, don't, I don't nitpick at movies, but unless there's something I don't really like, I yeah. don't go... It's going to be really, really bad to get a bad yeah. rating here, or we just won't do that. But if I find anything yeah. good about a movie, I, I bring that yeah, we took, to Yeah, service. we took the trumpet a bit. Now, so, you, you, I didn't know what, you, what are you doing? Sorry. So, I'm going to rate this um, 9 out of 10. Okay. Now, where do you get it? Wow. Here we go. I've had a look at eBay and Amazon, my favourite places. It's there. Now, I will reinforce this yet again. Hmm. Okay. Right. You can buy it or rent it, obviously. Mm-hmm. But be careful. There are other moves that are very... you got Piranha. Piranhas. you got Mega Piranha. You got, so just be careful. Yeah. It is Piranha. Hmm. To, to Piranha 3D 2010. Yeah, so... And if you go into it a bit... Um, it's Elizabeth Sue is the main actress. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. that might help you. Uh, and Christopher Lloyd could easily Christopher Lloyd's in could it. take you over yeah, the edge. Might, yeah, depending on how many na- people's names they put on the Amazon or the eBay or whatever listing, they won't mm-hmm. put them all in there. I okay? know, but she's imagine, the main star. I imagine uh, he's yeah. she's the main star, but Christopher Lloyd is a bit yeah. much more. Biggest star too, considering the fact he's role. considering yeah. his um he he plays a he he made so many ro- interesting movies in his day. Yeah, I know, yeah, but on. they normally put it in the uh, the order of importance for the movie. Well, maybe generally, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, so as it sees the main actress, um, Alexandra Aja, Aja was the director and probably uh, yeah, and also the producer. So you look for those two names, you got the right product. There you go. Now, going back to 2010, shouldn't think there's any VHS running around. So, you, And probably, I don't think there's any laser disc either. So you're probably okay. Just be careful. You get the right one. Um, yeah. And go for it. And enjoy it over a, um, a nice cup of coffee or something a tad stronger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a big bowl of popcorn or uh, whatever. Uh Pretzels yeah. or a bag of lollies, like your candy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so anyway, that's um, Piranha. So guys, be sure to check it out and let us know in the comments, like usual, what you guys think of that Piranha-related yeah, movie. Yeah, and make, as we said oh. before, guys, don't confuse this with other Piranha-related yeah, 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 movies. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and I wouldn't let kids watch it. There is a bit of... It's not overly graphic, Mm. But you do see some chewed off mangled legs and arms and different things. And, and you yeah. may get to see a bit of um, bum and boob oh, shots. Well, there's, in this there's one. more in the other movie, but yeah, you get a little bit of bums and tits and stuff. And yeah, yeah that's all. And you, you may get to see a little bit more than uh, a bit of a sh- um, yeah. There's even a shot of some very full on shots of nudity in other scenes, obviously. There's like a few the, things. Well, there's models were doing a porn thing and they weren't over the top, but they were. Um, Swimming yeah. naked and stuff, and Very oh, I didn't thoroughly. mind. Look pretty dang good to me, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not a kitty. <laughs> yeah, well, to the guys in the audience that probably would be, would <sighs> sing, would um would shake would get them interested, obviously. Well, I got my attention. <laughs> anyway, so be sure to check us out and let us know in the comments, like usual, what you guys think of it. Yeah. So this is our latest podcast, everyone. Be sure to check out our other ones in the past because I would like it if you guys actually watch those ones too. It would be pre- most appreciated from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got lots. We're hundreds now. We've mm-hmm. we done lots and lots. They, they stay on there forever? Do they drop off after a while? Or? No, I, I don't delete them. No. I, I so keep, they will stay there forever? They'll stay there forever um, as long as um, we keep making them as we go along okay, so good, good. I haven't removed any of them not since so hundreds since to go through you better start listening now yes so <laughs> this is Sarah Stevenson and Michael saying see you guys around on Boys and Ghouls Film Review bye for now and I'll see you guys next time in our next podcast everyone bye now bye guys <laughs>